Don in London, hello, it's January 30th, 2010. My video is all about recovery from addiction to either substance or behaviour. And uh, my substance of addiction for many years, 35 if not more, yeah, 35 years, alcohol and my other addictions to behaviour, work, relationships, collecting, materialism, whatever society and civilization said I should be collecting or doing or at least I thought I ought to be doing and somehow I lost my way and I guess really from the first drink where it took the edge off me made me feel warm convivial sleepy happy joyful and able to access all those other feelings that were buried deep underneath something else called fear and fear was always there so in my childhood fear fear at home, fear at school, fear just around me because I didn't understand life and I didn't know it was okay to not understand life I just thought I ought to know it and other people seemed to just carry on oblivious to danger, fear and anything but it didn't, didn't stop me being a brave person or as a child I did all the silly things like shoot bows and arrows shoot guns and all sorts of things but this was in the 60s when you know danger, danger wasn't something that uh, seemed to matter too much when it came to children playing and we, we used to play with knives and machetes and axes set fires in woods cook camp do all those things not particularly supervised because that's just how life was and uh, that's no reflection on my family or my parents they really didn't know what we got up to yeah, life as a kid was quite fearful in many respects and I wasn't really fearful of nature or providence, I was more fearful of people and other kids. A lot of bullies around in my childhood and uh, if you fear a bully they somehow know it. Anyway, that's where I started. So 35 years of trying to fit in, trying to be the person I thought I ought to be, trying to be whatever I thought you wanted me to be. or the girlfriend might want me to be the girlfriend, a girlfriend or another girlfriend and another one. All that, you know, just trying to find ourselves and fit in and fix what we have inside us, which is a gap. And if somebody had said to me early on, you're supposed to have a gap inside, it's called room for growth. Maybe I would stop. I would have stopped trying to fill it with alcohol and tried to start filling it with good things which would nourish me which is to understand and access my feelings on a daily basis understand what they are and feel them rather than push them down and live in denial all the time so denial is a part of the process of living it is the I can't believe it moments of life you know why is this happening to me why have I got type 1 diabetes why have I got clinical depression why am I an alcoholic and the answer is why not and indeed why not so you know 35 years of dependency and in the last few it became complete addiction so there was always something there taking the edge off because that's what we did that's what we did at work or after work that's what we did to be sociable and part of and that's what we did because we needed to and wanted to and now I don't need to drink alcohol obsess over people, places or things and if I start to stop, feel that obsession coming on around I ought to be doing this, I should be doing that I need to ask myself what am I doing and if I can't make sense of it I need some help so where do I get help? well certainly from family, friends and community and also a fellowship which helps me keep sober one day at a time and that fellowship is AA Alcoholics Anonymous so what I do here is share a bit about what AA is with the AA Statement of Intent, a bit of the literature and what I've been up to, like going to meetings of the fellowship and living life. So I'll start with the AA Statement of Intent, which is on this very handy little card, which you can't see because of the lights. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I can see it and I can share it. I went to a meeting yesterday morning where we just recite this out as a group 
and thank goodness I can but at the same time I like to just read it because it makes me slow down to read the words rather than just a recitation which can be it can be helpful but it can be useless because if I don't reflect on the words and just say them out loud it's like I used to do at school just read out a poem and it didn't mean anything to me so here we go Alcoholics Anonymous is a fellowship of men and women who share their experience, strength and hope with each other that they may solve their common problem and help others to recover from alcoholism. The only requirement for membership is the desire to stop drinking. There are no dues or fees for AA membership. We are self-supporting through our own contributions. AA is not allied with any sect, denomination, politics, organisation or institution. It does not wish to engage in any controversy neither endorses or op nor opposes any causes. Our primary purpose is to stay sober and help other alcoholics to achieve sobriety. And in reading those words it reminds me of two things in particular. The only reason for being part of the fellowship is, is a desire to stop drinking and there's no other qualification. You don't have to say you're an alcoholic or anything. It's just if you have a desire to stop drinking come along and the other one is to share the message with other people which is why I do these videos and often because as I was asked uh, people can't always get out to meetings or meetings are far away and you know why not share experience strength and hope it's a good idea so what makes it work for me well it's a combination of family friends community fellowship knowing that so sober must come first sobriety and then the rest of life can work and sobriety offers me the opportunity to understand what love can be, how to love people, how to be loved back, or to live it, live love, giving and receiving, and be useful. And that's really the theme of today's reading in the AA literature I'm sharing, which is this one, Daily Reflections. And in the da Daily Reflections, it's one step per month, 12 steps of action to change my attitude and behaviour. And for January 30th it says this, Freedom from and freedom to. We are going to know a new freedom. Freedom for me is both freedom from and freedom to. The first freedom I enjoy is freedom from slavery to alcohol. What a relief. Then I begin to experience freedom from fear. Fear of people, economic insecurity, of commitment, of failure, of rejection. Then I begin to enjoy freedom to. Freedom to choose sobriety for today. Freedom to be myself. Freedom to express my opinion. To experience peace of mind. To be to love and be loved. I always wondered where that came from. I thought it was from a psychiatrist, but there you go. And freedom to grow spiritually. But how can I achieve these freedoms? The big book clearly says, and that's the AA big book, that before I'm halfway through making amends, that's in step nine, I will begin to know a new freedom, not the old freedom of doing what I pleased without regard to others, but the new freedom that allows fulfilment of the promises in my life. What a joy to be free. And f for me, what is freedom? It is freedom of choice in, in the moment. And uh, as I say, I went to two meetings yesterday, one in the morning called Just for Today, and we, that's where we re recited the uh, AA Statement of Intent, known as the Preamble. And then the evening meeting is called Courage to Change. And for me it is all about courage to change on a daily basis, sometimes slowly, sometimes quickly, as life experience helps me and enables me to see a new outlook. And what do I need to help me do that? It's fellowship, inclusion, learning love, to love, be loved and useful. So that's me today so far and uh, we'll see how it goes. So the serenity prayer which I share at the end of these videos is to God or to good conscience, to, to the truth of now. It's a reflection and meditation. God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can and the wisdom to know the difference. Hopefully it's just for today.